Okay. So here is the incomplete and codominance worksheet. Um, this is just some practice on crossing incomplete and codominant uh, crosses. When we talk about incomplete dominance, we're talking about when we have two equally strong alleles, and those equally strong alleles um, are both present, they'll make a blend, or they'll blend together. So if we took a, um, let's, you know, a white and uh, red flower, we took a white and red flower, and it was the genetics was governed by incomplete dominance then or the pattern of inheritance was governed by incomplete dominance and we had both a red allele and a white allele for um, a, a a flower then it would if it was governed by incomplete dominance it would be pink if we had a um, flower that was Uh, had the same two alleles, if it had a red and a white, and it was governed by codominance, then you would have a white flower with red stripes or a white flower with um, red polka dots on it. Um, so, with that being said, let's look down here and it says in some chickens, the gene for feather color is controlled by codominance. The allele for black is B, and the allele for white is W. The heterozygous phenotype is known as, um, oh, I'm going to butcher this word, irminate, irminate. And it says, what is the genotype for black chickens? Okay, so for black chickens, um, you know, you're not having a white and red, um, cause this, or I'm sorry, a white and black. Um, because it says it's heterozygous is the irminent. So, um, irminent, um, however you pronounce that word. Here we have, um, uh, black. So black is going to be, since this is code on it, it would just seem black, it's going to be big B, big B. And just a little side note here, um, big B, is going to represent black and big W is going to represent white. Um, okay, so um, we use two different letters, uh, two different capital letters because these are equally strong alleles, so when they're present, um, they, it can either be incomplete dominance or it can be codominant. So incomplete dominance being that, um, uh, you know, black and white come together and um, they blend and make gray or codominance, they come together and they make a, a black and white speckled chicken, uh, which is what this scenario is talking about. Now, I don't want you to be confused if you see like on your EOC or somewhere where they do big B, little b. I have seen it done that way. I, I like the big B, uh, the both capital letters because it's just um, easier for me to understand that way and it helps me differ differentiate between complete dominance when, and complete dominance is when we have a big B and a little b or we have a, a dominant and a recessive trait. So you'd either see uh, black or white. There would never, there's no in between there. There's not a black and white or a gray when we talk about complete dominance. So, moving back towards this question, it says, what is a genotype for white chickens? And um, that would be big W, big W. It says, and then the um, emerant chickens, or the black and white speckled chickens, and that's big B, big W. Now it says to cross them, and it says if two black and white speckled chickens were crossed, what would the probabil probability be? And the first thing to determine is the parent's genotype. 
and we know that there are two black and white speckled chickens, so that means that they're heterozygous. That means that they have two different alleles present, and that would be big B, big W, big B, big W. Okay, so then we put them big B, big W, big B, big W. And we cross them. Big B, big B, big B, big W, big B, big W, big W, big W. Okay? And we cross them and it says they would have, um, how, how many would be black? So we have one black because we have big B, big B right here. So that would be 25%. And how many white? We have one white here, so that'd be 